Hey family, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are joining for the first time, a warm welcome to you. I hope and pray you feel the urge to join this family. So virtual hug for everyone and once again, thank you for joining. Today we'll be discussing tested after the testimony. Now many of us were called upon to share and we stand and we say we're thankful to God for life, health and strength. And then we receive that diagnosis. We are thankful to God for provision and the enemy sends someone to point out that in their opinion you are in lack or to compare you to someone else. We are thankful to God for our families and for that togetherness and then we lose that close family member. What can we do? You see, a lot of us, we testify of the goodness of God, but when we are truly faced with trials, we turn our backs on him because of fear and doubt even anger and we come to a point where sometimes we even deny him but let's look at job job was a righteous man and job lost his his family he lost his animals yet he worshiped god he had a true testimony to share amen but he was then further tested with afflictions to his body but we can be encouraged by job you see job refused to deny god and God blessed him in his latter days even more than he blessed them before. So let's remember, God has a purpose for each and every one of us. Those of us who are being tried and tested, let's keep the faith. God is not going to place a burden on us greater than we can bear. And as said in James chapter 1 verse 2 to 3, Count it all joy when you fall into temptation, knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So family... Let's remain patient. Let's remain faithful. And remember, when you emerge from the fire, you'll be as a refined gold. You're not going to look or smell like where you've been. In Jesus' name, amen.